Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to our little skill channel. So in the last video, we saw uh, what is Python variable, okay? how it works, what is uh, declaration, what is initialization, what is assignment. So uh, how to declare this thing, how to declare the multiple variables simultaneously. And if you only de uh, declaration, whether the only declaration is possible or not. In the last video, we saw all this. Okay. In this video, what we are going to see is how how we are going to name the variable. Okay. What are the rules uh, there for naming the variable? So for that, we can call as a convention convention for naming variables too. Okay. okay. We'll see. The first thing for a variable is a variable can only contain the alphanumeric characters and underscore. Okay. The alphanumeric characters is nothing but an see alphanumeric characters is one is a to z should contain and zero to nine and underscore. Only these can be considered for the naming convention. Okay. And the variable must start with a letter or the underscore character. Okay, so while we are declaring the variable, right, it should start with only a letter or an underscore. For example, while we are declaring, it should start with only uh, only its alphabet or with the underscore. Underscore, you can start with underscore a equal to 10 and uh, something like that, okay. And a underscore, is, it's uh, it's possible, right. It, even it should start with alpha, uh, alphabet or it should start with underscore. It should not start with uh, the numeric value, okay. And then if you can see here, variables names are, uh, means the variable name cannot start with a number, right? The only it should start with a, one is alphabet and the one is another one is underscore. It should not start with the, uh, the numerical value, okay? Uh, it's not possible. So what it shows is it's an illegal thing. We can say illegal variable name, okay? So let's see uh, in this thing in the command section, okay? I'll, I'll, I will declare the variable name. Right. Uh, even the this thing, the variables are as case sensitive. What I will do is, I will tell you, I will go for an age, my age. Okay. For example, age, age is nineteen. I will take it as an age. Okay. What I will do, I will print as an age. Okay. I will get the output. Okay. And even as I mentioned, underscore. Right. Underscore, underscore age equal to. 99 I will take as an just print it print underscore age okay we'll get that even uh, so I, as I mentioned the second point is it's an case sensitive okay how it is a case sensitive okay if I if I if I now I if I call it as an age right capital A so if I print right if I print this age do I get the output let's see See what it's showing. It's not defined. So here it should be same as this mentioned. So it starts with a and small a, right? It should be same with a. If I go with a small a, right? And then if I declare this with an capital A, if I declare it, then if I run it now, see you are able to see the result. So these are the case sensitive too. The variables in a Python are the case sensitive. The three, uh, for example. Age, comma, age, comma, age. All these, all three are different. All three are different variables here because they are case sensitive here, right? There's a mark down here. See, all three are different variables because we go because the variables are case sensitive. And let's see some of the examples of. Uh, uh, this thing, the legal and illegal variables. The legal, the legal and illegal, uh, illegal variables are important. Uh, means while uh, while declaring the variable, right? So how means what are the rules which applies for that? Okay. So uh, the first only as I mentioned, it should start with alphabet. Uh, it should start with alphabet, and it should start with uh, the first is it should start with alphabet, and it should start with an underscore. If it start apart from this, if the variable starts with any other thing, for example, uh, uh, alphabet, uh, sorry, not with the, the with the numeric value like uh, two a three a like numerical value, and with the space giving a space is not in this thing. So even the space between, for example, if I want to a space b, 
equal to 10 it is not possible it is it's it is also not possible okay it's also illegal variable name okay and a hyphen b and even special characters also not possible uh, in this thing there comes under illegal variable names uh, any of the a underscore b and equal to 10 these are all the illegal variables uh, the naming of a illegal variables okay whether it should be a underscore b is possible underscore a b is possible it should not the variable should not start with any of the alphabet any of the alpha uh, sorry any of the numerical value or with the it should not start with any of the spaces any of the space value or it should not start with any of the special character like hyphen at the rate exclamatory uh, and uh, symbol present symbol or percent symbol these all are should not be used okay let's see in the example how it goes uh, this thing first i will show you the uh, legal uh, variables okay my variable variable okay my variable equal to what i will do large if i call this variable right i am able to get the result see it has gotten result now what i will do i will use a save variable and just what i will do i will just give an underscore as i mentioned you right underscore we can give if i give a, if i uh, print it right see i am able to get the result even as i mentioned you right it should start with one is alphabet or with the underscore also first what i will do i will use an underscore here okay underscore equal to I'll just uh, waste time on this thing. I'll this and what I will do, I'll just print it. Okay, this thing. See, we are able to get the. These are all the legal variables. We can say it should start with this thing. Okay, let's see the how about the illegal variables. Okay, what I will do now, I'll copy this same. Uh, I'll, I'll copy this same data here. Okay, then I'll start with the, the numerical value here. Okay, see. What is it is saying as invalid syntax? Why? Because the Python it should not start with the alphabet value. Okay. Let me check the same value with here. What I will do? I will go with the space here, and and I will declare it. Okay. Sorry, it should not be space. It should not be there in between this thing. See, it is also invalid syntax. Okay. The space it should not be there between the two. Uh, this thing uh, in between the variable. Okay, the space should not be there. It should be continuous, or you can use an underscores between these two, so that it should be a legal variable. Okay, and and the other thing which I mentioned you is uh, the hyphen. Uh, hyphen I should not use. Hyphen. Uh, let me use a hyphen. I will let me declare. See, invalid is can cannot assign the operator. See, you can see it, right? These are all the invalid, it is a, uh, invalid or illegal variable names. Okay, illegal variable names for that thing. So as I mentioned, oh, let me revise the things. The first point by point. Okay, the first thing what we learned toward the first starting is what are, how can we declare? Okay, the variable names. The first thing is uh, sorry. The first thing is the variable. Oh, Okay, the variable. Let me call it here. It should not. It should. It contains a h and a to h or it should be alphanumeric, or it should contains an uh, underscore character. Okay, and the other thing is the first thing is this. It should. Uh, it should start with alphabet. Okay, the variable should start with alphabet or underscore. Okay, and the third thing is it should not. It should not start with any of the uh, numerical value, or it should not uh, the variable name should not contain any of the hyphen values or special character in between that. Even special character like at the rate, uh, except bar, kind, percentage, and these are all. Even with the space is also not possible. Hyphen is also not possible. It should not be there. You can use only the underscore between that. Okay. Yeah. So, so these are which we have covered the legal and illegal variable names. Okay. In the, in the next class, right, we will see the print function. 
how the print function works in the python okay thank you everyone we'll see you in the next class thank you